9th and Main, Kansas City, downtown July 1986. A busy intersection now, but look again. All aboard on the time machine heading back almost 90 years, back to 1897, looking east on 9th at exactly the same location. This priceless, newly discovered and preserved film is the very first movie record of Kansas City. You can thank photographer George Curtis. The day he received the camera from Paris on May 15, 1897, he headed down to the 9th Street Junction in Kansas City, which was the busiest intersection in Kansas City. He did a lot of filming in Kansas City that first summer and he filmed the policemen on parade. In fact, they were changing guard at the time. He filmed the firemen on parade. He went out to Fairmont Park and filmed a risque dancer that doesn't look too risque to our eyes, but at that time, he had church women and clergymen up in arms. The film was cranked by hand that long ago summer. Curtis's family in the Kansas City Museum rescued it a few months ago from deterioration. It's truly living history. Because George Curtis captured the last mule-drawn carriage trolley car in Kansas City, he was filming something that was going extinct in his own time. And then he filmed the cable cars, which was the new technology. So we have sort of a history right there that he captured in one summer. History curator Barbara Gorman has her own scholarly detached attitude towards the find. I literally was pooping in my office. If you want to see more of these old movies, just apply to the archivist at the Kansas City Museum. Thanks to the museum, Kansas City's past is more than just a memory. From 9th and Main for KCTV 5, I'm John Tibbetts.